Our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. McGregor is one year his senior. He will have a four inch reach advantage. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Justin, the highlight, Gage. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, four losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, the notorious Connor McGregor. UFC belt online. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my command at all times. If you want to touch love, do it now. Obey your command. You ready? You ready? Bulletproof matchmaking here. Conor McGregor and Justin Gaethje are finally underway. Your thoughts on what we might see here? We're going to see a train wreck. Conor always comes forward. Gaethje always comes forward. Who's going to be the guy that takes the first step back? Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Big punch from the clinch. Another strike to the head lands. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying active. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And they separate. Effective punch there by Gaethje. Oh, that's a big connection for Justin Gaethje, and really just loves being in that octagon. I'm not sure anybody loves fighting as much as Gaethje. People don't enjoy being in someone's face, getting punched, and landing punches as much as Justin Gaethje. He's right where he wants to be. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big power shot there. Man, look at him load up on that right. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right there. to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bach. <laughs> McGregor gets up, but he looks dazed. He looks confused. So we pull up the numbers here. 28 total strikes have landed for Justin Gates. Nice punch here. Going orthodox now. When you're in the pitch, you can pull down on the head and land to the head. Blocks the shot. 
Beautiful land there by McGregor. Made it look easy on that exchange. He is such a diverse striker, but he's very tricky in the approach when he's trying to land that left hand. And everything's landing with so much power. 45 seconds to go here in round one. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Just misses with the punch by so a strong five minutes down. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Second round here. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. A single collar tie there. Nice punch, man. Oh, and he countered him there with a beautiful straight right hand. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Back and forth we go! All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. So 52 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. And connecting with 46% accuracy tonight, by the way, against Justin Gaethje. Nice stick with the right hand. Nice combination there by Justin Gaethje. And if you think this pace and pressure is going to wane, you haven't watched any Gaethje film. No, it'll never stop, right? He's going to constantly be in your face. He's going to stay going forward. He's not a guy that takes back step, and he usually will overwhelm his opponent. Just out of range with that right hook. Gaethje strike attempt there is blocked. Just over two minutes to go. Flips that left hand. Swing and a miss by Gaethje. Oh, collar tie. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace. Oh, he's hurt. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if he jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock, and if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Watch out. He's to push the arm to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish, watch his chest go to the mat. He goes, it's in there deep. There you go. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants okay. stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Protect this cut, though. You know he's going after it. 
All right, so here we go. The crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. You saw in the previous round, both fighters got rocked. I don't think the scorecards are going to be needed for this one. No, the scorecard will not be needed. If we continue to fight that we did in the previous round, somebody... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right. And he's looking... He goes for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was stunned a little bit earlier. Let's see if he can get a respite here. Punches. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Well, you saw us referencing the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good. Whoa! Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. 75 total strikes have found the mark for Conor McGregor. And landing with 45% accuracy oh. tonight. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, straight right. Fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Close guard. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Connor. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Seconds now to go in the round. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on it. And attacking on bar. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Oh, now he's in trouble. There, so he submits him with the arm bar. I mean, just steps ahead of the competition where you're playing checkers, he's playing chess in the ground fighting, and it showed tonight in this big submission victory. Watch a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground. He's seen talkers through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there is the man they are all chasing at 155 pounds, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion. And how about the way he got it done tonight? A spectacular submission to finish the job. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 19 seconds of the third round. Declared the winner by tap out due to an arm bar. And new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Justin the Highlight Gage. Oh, what a moment there it is for the new UFC lightweight champion. I'm not crying. That, you're crying. You crying? I mean, almost. A, it's hard not to feel emotional when you watch someone accomplish something that they set out to do so long ago. Congratulations to the champ. He did a great job in winning this belt.